How did the diet change eventually? Yeah, you know, beginning of my career, I think in the late 90s, we didn't know that much about nutrition like, like you do now. Now everybody's vegan and gluten-free and whatnot. Uh, back in the days, it's, uh, maybe there was that wave slowly starting, but I didn't really care about it. I didn't think it would make a difference for me that, that much. So, I mean, it was basically like burgers and chicken sandwiches after games, uh, pasta before the game. And, um, and then, you know, as you get older, I think that's normal. You, you care more about your body. You learn more about your body and what you put in it. And so I completely changed my diet when I was about 27, 28. Did it actually help? Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, I would I always say I would probably go back now and do it earlier. But I was, just, I was just in my prime. We had just made the finals in 06. We lost to, uh, uh, to the Miami Heat in a tough, super tough um, final series. Then I only had a few weeks off, and then uh, I played the World Championships in, in, in Tokyo. And there, I just couldn't get going. I didn't feel it. I was like, hey, I'm in my prime. I'm, what, 27, 28. I should be feeling great. Why am I not feeling good? And then I just started reading more and more. And that's when I changed, yeah, basically everything. You know, cut out sugar, no sodas, no, no desserts during the season, barely any alcohol, maybe run the all-star break every now and then. But usually in my last 10 years of my career, I didn't drink during the season. Basically cut out all the red meat. And so it was pretty, pretty strict there for the last, yeah, 10, 12 years of my career. And then if you splurged briefly, you would feel it immediately. Yeah, I mean, when, when you have a lot of sugar, that, of course, increases the inflammation in your body. And, and then, yeah, you just don't feel as active as uh, when you, uh, in practices. But I would only splurge there for, for a few weeks after the season and really have a good time. And then once, once I started training again with Holger in the summer, it was, it was back, to, back to the routine. And weren't you starting to become conscious of heart problems that big men would have? Well, this is just now more really in retirement. A couple of teammates that I played with already passed away. And uh, that's something, you know, that should be on every, every athlete's, but also big men's radar. And, you know, you have to keep training, keep training the heart a little bit. Um, and so I'm, I ride a lot of bike just to you know, keep the heart pumping and, uh, and get a little workout.